What's up guys, I'm Austin from Curls in the Rack. Today we're gonna to be talking about the barbell back squat. So when I set up for this movement, um, same thing starting from the grip and the setup and everything, right? I wanna make sure that I'm set up in a good squat stance before I get under the bar. So I'll make sure that I'm about hip width apart with my feet, about shoulder width there. Um, that's about usually where I wanna be for my squat. I'll kinda of wiggle my toes to make sure that my weight's set into the center of my foot. Um, a lot of people think you need to be in your heels. This is actually wrong. It's kind of a wrong coaching tip. Really try and set the weight in the center of your foot, right? Now from here, once I feel like I'm engaging that external rotation, I'm squeezing my glutes, I'm squeezing my abs, I'm loaded for a, a movement, then I'll go ahead and set up under the bar. So, that thumb width apart from the uh, little rough edge of the bar here. I'll walk under the bar. Again, find that good squat stance, external rotation of the feet, like my feet are on dinner plates and I'm spinning to the outside, creating that torque in the knee there um, to protect my joints and my tendons and everything. Stand up, walk forward. Again, I'll go through that same bracing strategy to find that good squat um, position. Squeeze the glutes, externally rotate, squeeze the abs. Now from here, I wanna send my hips back like I'm sitting down into a chair, right? So I'll send those hips backwards down, driving those knees to the outside, and back up. Guys, really important on this one, make sure that those knees are going to the outside and not collapsing inwards this way. If they collapse inwards, I've lost that external rotation and I'm putting myself immediately at risk for an injury right there, right? So external rotation there versus here. This is the position I wanna be in. So, engage those knees to the outside the entire time, send your hips down and back, like you're going down to a chair, 90 degrees in the squat, and then back up to the top, right? And that's all there is to it.